we introduce color by numbers, interactive structuring and vectorization of sketch imagery. Generating vector line art from rough raster sketches is a fundamental problem in computer graphics. Despite many algorithmic approaches to vectorization, the presence of noise, annotation, shading, and construction lines make it difficult to automatically produce desired vector output. We thus present a technique where users interactively color an automatically segmented sketch to create an intended vectorization. A user desired stroke, whether open or closed, is conveyed by coloring the region on either side of it differently. Coloring a rough raster sketch in this fashion using traditional brush or fill coloring tools is both difficult and tedious. Our main objective is thus to structure the sketch in a manner that makes this coloring easy and efficient. Our approach has three main steps, initial color generation, interactive recoloring, and color-based simplification and vectorization. The entire process is anchored by a Delaunay complex, computed on the foreground pixels of the sketch. We also add corner pixels, so as to produce a Delaunay triangulation of the entire image. We then compute an initial coloring by recursively flood filling regions to group adjacent Delaunay triangles. Starting from the largest ungrouped seed triangle, we recursively group and color adjacent triangles, as long as the edge shared between them is longer than a given threshold. This prevents color bleeding through small gaps and strokes, segmenting the sketch into an initial coloring of large compact regions. We also avoid coloring triangles with all edge lengths below the threshold, as these typically correspond to noise and gaps between adjacent sketch strokes. Users can then convey the desired vector structure by interactively recoloring the sketch. To better understand recoloring, let us first define the concepts of path flow and color flow. Given a path connecting a source triangle S and target triangle T, path flow from S to T is the length of the shortest Delaunay edge that the path crosses. Of course, there may be multiple paths between S and T, and the color flow from S to T is the maximum path flow among these paths. In other words, color flow captures an affinity for two triangles S and T to belong to the same region. In the initial coloring, every triangle in a region is assigned the color flow to it from the seed triangle for that region. Now, whenever a user clicks a triangle to be recolored, the color recursively spreads to adjacent triangles as long as the color flow from the clicked seed to the candidate triangle is not smaller than its existing color flow. Recolored triangles are then updated with a new seed triangle and its associated color flow. Users can thus interactively recolor large regions of a sketch with only a few clicks. The recoloring further segments or merges regions of the sketch based on the user's choice of color. Once users are done recoloring, our approach uses these colors to simplify and vectorize the raster sketch automatically. Initially, we mark all the uncolored regions as foreground pixels. Strokes with different colors on opposite sides are then selected for vectorization, thinned to a single pixel width and structured into a connected curve network. Then, stroke segments are vectorized using adaptively fit cubic Bezier curves. Our interface begins with a rough raster image and assigns an initial coloring where automatically computed Delaunay regions are randomly and uniquely colored. This coloring can be interactively modified by adding a new color to further segment a region, or by picking and dropping an existing color to merge regions. Visualizing seed triangles of existing regions can also simplify the recoloring process. Let us see a demonstration. Thank you.